Alrighty, hello internet. Wolfman Doom Gaming here, and welcome back to Oxenfree. So, when we were playing last, we went to Fort Milner to um, see Clarissa about a radio. Um, the radio only worked for the island, and stuff went down with Clarissa. I talked to myself in the mirror, and shit went sideways fast. So, off we go. Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Alright, so we're heading back to the comm tower. Hopefully Ren's actually there. This is... Like I said, I've already played this, but I have forgotten a lot of it. Which is why I'm playing it again, because... I... Retained game, game information, um... Pretty nicely, and it's annoying. In case you heard that sound, I'm opening some, uh, Gold Peak Sweet Tea with real sugar. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a good stuff. The, uh, the hospital I work at sells these, and, uh, I don't drink them a lot, but I've gotten into drinking them. All right. You're a wackadoo. Clear's just like, okay, time to play now. Crazy. This is an everyday thing. When I start trying to record a stream, he's just like, okay, gotta play now. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah. Sorry, Dennis. You're, uh... What you guys say isn't important enough, apparently. Ah, oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. <sighs> tired. Always tired. Hey! Hey! I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. <laughs> it just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know... It's Wait, just... second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, God. All right, back to Harden Tower. <laughs> this thing's even standing. 
as close to the water, all the salt water would be just like eating it, all the salt air would be this eating it up. Work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh, it's been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah. And it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but... Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them was after you knew everything had gone to hell, so... <laughs> to balance out. To balance me out, that's it. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. This was your whole stupid thing. Guys, come on. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Ren, it's okay. Relax. I like the plan. The plan's fine. We'll all... It doesn't matter if the plan is fine. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is, like, harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be, too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly muster... Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look... I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. There what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be. Yeah, on. it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You... Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you isn't, making me shack up with this guy? Be quiet. Both of you. God, you're like puppies. You're not going to die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, isn't... No, it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. <laughs> okay. I imagine I took sides last time and I don't remember. I'm just doing whatever it sounds good to me. I think I took Jonas last time. But they can stay there and uh, deal with all that.
So I think I'm going down. But when I go towards, towards Fort, Fort Milder, though, we're going up and leaving into the woods, which I don't want to. Come on, Anna. Turn your ass up. Sorry, I'm just really tired. I have nothing intelligible to say. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just like never there. It's a loophole where I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So. Ah, nice. Good tip. Thanks, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, of course. Oh, and don't tell anyone. But my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. It's okay, it's fine. We're all kinda in a daze right now. I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nana. I'm not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. I never thought about, but this gate here that goes to, uh, into Adler State reminds me of, uh, Castlevania 1, well, no, no, my bad, Castlevania 2, you had to go across this, uh, this gate and throw across a bridge to get to Dracula's decaying manor. Uh, it's been so long I played that game. I think I'm going to railway. Man, I, I am really tired. I don't know why. I, I was tired all day. I was just like, as the day went on, it just got more and more. This one guy at work was like, man, you look tired. And he's guy you just stopped playing those video games at night. I'm just like, I was in bed by like 9 o'clock. Like, I know he was joking, but I, I go to bed on time when it's a work day. Uh, Main Street.
I said, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even recording for. I am so tired. My brain is just wandering off. So it's the Parks and Facilities Building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're we're close. Wrong button. Oh, I don't nothing. Clarissa! What are you... How did she get up there? She's alive. You, you're alive! Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Oh god, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh, I can... I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? You think you can control me? Clarissa. I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. Yes, Clarissa, we, we are. This isn't trying. You're walking around pointing a radio at things. Might as well be a stick. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Back to normal, I hope? Back to normal? What does that even... How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? <sighs> the usual answer to any question tonight has been... I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... Are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are Clarissa, all- Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions, just- We have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa, Ugh, she it doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She- Nona, don't, just don't think of me like- I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None, but we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you- All the Alex in the tree. Hey, whoa.
Man, do you ever do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we got to try to get into is like right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. That was fun. And the little we're ghost. Gonna we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key. And the little ghost things that oxen free. Alex, wanna try and get the key for the? Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty warm. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Yeah, it's obviously some kind of fighter jet, but... Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. India. It must work for the gate to Adler's house too. Uniform. Really? Echo. How does Eventually. it work? Like you just tune into the signal at one of the lock boxes and you're Everything in, I think. Alpha Ooh, wait, November. wait, here's like a, Tango. wait, India. what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna. Okay, here. To... Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What? What is that? Who? Who's it for? To whom it should concern? It says right here. I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control, like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. To whosoever finds the material, know that I am discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Weird lady. Alpha, 
November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Antique. That was the thing. It was... Everything becomes an antique, eventually. Um... That's, um, that's code, um, the, the cops use that actually, the Alpha, Romeo, November, Tango, um, a lot of times you ever, like, I've only ever, I've only ever been pulled over by the cops once, and it was not for anything really, it was, I was stopped at the cops because they thought I was a drunk on a, on a bike, but when they ran my name, they were like, Oh, the name is, you know, blah, 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 and I had to use the, the proper, that way it's, uh, they know when they, when it goes over, over the radio, you know what they're saying. So... Sell the boat and leave. Yeah, simple as that. Oh. I, I know there's more, but I thought the game was longer than this. I thought it was a lot longer. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? Ha Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knickknack shops or no, whatever. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be... Flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but I thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah. Um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm. Real it's quick. been a since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Uh, forget it. It's alright. 
Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you like a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey! I'm interesting, I'm entertaining. <laughs> Thank you. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah, get me a drink too. Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here, what's the story? I want the news, I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I'm, uh doing all right yeah <sighs> yeah and look I know this was supposed to be our day but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her so thanks for chaperoning I know it's not what you had in mind so but I owe you yeah no problem just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity <laughs> because that would ever happen it's important to me that you like Clarissa Alex so tell me the truth what do you really think of her Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. <laughs> I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. I forgot about that part. This game's weird. Good, it's just, it's confusing. Uh, I'm not sure what's... What's what's supposed to be. Like, what was the point of her going back in time? Like... Alex? Are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. Nona, I, I just saw, I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where, here? Is he, was it like a, I don't, I don't know what to call it, a vision? I was, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was, it's like we've been having ripples and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Weird. I'm guessing after Michael died too, I thought about it, she probably dyed her hair. Obviously, during the flashback, it was brown. tower this one got a little antsy weird stuff was playing on the radio that voice said i had a mother's laugh what does that <laughs> even mean anyways are we happy we are happy we got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way oh thank <clears throat> god i was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything seeing as how it was my advice to uh do the whole thing some <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way but i mean I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff. And we can't find Clarissa, so 
she pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Clarissa will be fine. She's... She hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yep. So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? Nope. I'm going to stand here all night. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. India. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just Sorry, Nana. Cut you off. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, <sighs> she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Burn. something in here just looks like vacation slides or something huh Ren you were right there's like a ledger here the Adler family does own the island and here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says 29 18 54 a chest have you seen one yet Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? keys there are no oars and before we go crazy it's not it wasn't with maggie's stuff back at the office like with the radio no we looked through all of her stuff i think huh well uh what's plan b if we can't find it the keys they they have to be in the house for the movers or her family you know that's as good a guess as any sometimes when i lock myself out of my house i'll just i can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to like hypnotize it to open or something <laughs> you ever do that um not really but we can try that now if you think it'll help it's a radio lock the woman sure did love her antiquated security Is a nifty gizmo. Finally, Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? 
The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Found the phone. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest. But who cares? Let's just go. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. <laughs> and the motor. <laughs> yep, another mirror. Come on, Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. You're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just stop whatever this is, can't you? Just, just fix my friends, please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. Yeah. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with- I take it back then. I take it all back. Leave isn't possible. It's really not possible. Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will be fine. fine. The test is easy. Can we will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the, the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear, the point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So. Radiation. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Once they call a fish alive. Four. Three. Man, I don't know. Oh, sorry, child. You weren't even close. Yep, yeah, bye, Nona. The little one's up and hit the sun. Where is she? Where'd you take her? Don't you mind, but let this be a teachable moment for you. 
If you paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little x-ray emitting death machine. I was thinking that. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. <laughs> Other sense. Pay attention. I spy with my little eye a notch. That's my best a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. What? Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Well, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Don't just just stop, please. Don't do anything. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Where do they keep going? What are you doing with them? What are we doing with them? That is the question of the night, I guess. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You, see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we, if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well. There's the rub. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that. Think about what you're doing. We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception flag to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could you? That is no excuse for stealing our... our souls. Well, it's the only excuse you're gonna get. When our vessel crashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and... We thank you for your good service. <sighs> so, I'm kinda screwed. Well, screwed that up. I think I met my first time too. I think I screwed that all up. So, that's <laughs> nothing new. It's all whatever. I don't really care. I'm gonna say the whole multiple endings, whatever. I don't care. First. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. Jesus, Alex, if there's one thing I've learned tonight, it's that you're friggin' terrible at playing games when your friends' lives are at stake. <laughs> yeah. I'm 
sorry, all right? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Clarissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Yeah, I think I filled the first head too out. I don't think I, I don't think I saved anybody my first time around. I think everybody died. You want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. <laughs> All right, a bunch of wet blankets. Want to go save Clarissa? I know. The, uh, the bomb shelter. There's a bomb shelter. Ain't going that way. They went back into the uh, the photo, the film room, and see what she has going on there. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. There's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure that's sweet. They're learning. Boo! S okay, all right, we get it. You can, uh, skip this one. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like lines or whatever the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave just like from another angle according to this at least oh so it does brilliant is it yeah how do we get in it's just like the cave wall only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of oh what she knew about these things wow that's crazy it says that to fix a temporal tear that's a mouthful in the cave we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned, precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. 
No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Okay, any other ideas? Preferably ones that aren't unnecessarily complicated and obtuse and hanging by the thinnest spiderweb thread of relevancy. All right, then. <laughs> Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. Forget it then, okay? I'm sorry. Let's not dirty the cabinets, I guess. All right, just for anyone wondering, I used to say that a lot until I realized how weird it sounded. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. All right. You're about done this episode. So. It's a foul lab, see where they're going. Now we're going to Beacon Beach or back up there. Back up. Either way, when this when the map changes, it will, uh... Yeah, we're going up. Buddy, up, 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 up. Up, buddy, up, 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 buddy, up, 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 Is it saved? I don't remember seeing it saying it's saved. Well, let's go. A little more than just to make sure. So we're going back up. Alex. Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. Yeah, uh, let's get this over with. Friends, fine. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... Uh, the only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? 
Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay. I guess they're fine. For them. What does- Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. See you after, at the bomb shelter. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going the right way. So I wanted to go past here. That would have gone... I'd have gone through Fort Milner or around Fort Milner, whatever it is, to... Uh, There we go, saving. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning, which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and here since uh, we'll see this part next time we load it up. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, the um the voice acting is nice. I don't have to talk as much. Um, it is a weird game. As I say it's not really it's not really scary, but it's definitely spooky and it does it is a little uneasy feeling. Um, I, I'm sure I've messed up a lot, and I, I know I'm probably going to mess up more, and it's all good. All good. But I want to thank you all for watching, so hopefully you're enjoying this, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a good one, be safe, all that. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.